Hello, this is Jatsa Motlak from the KSTARS project. Uh, today I'm going to show you one of the new features in KSTARS EQS tool, which is the auto guiding feature. For the purposes of this demo, we're going to select a telescope simulator to act as our telescope and a CCD simulator to act as our guider. So let's go ahead and start ND here. And the start it and then let's go ahead and connect the devices and connection is successful as you can see here we have new two two new tabs in ECOS tool one is the CCD tab which enables us to capture images and what the other one is the guide tab let's go ahead and start the calibration and capture an image Now we have an image and let's select this star to be our guide star and let's enable auto mode which will just enable case stars to calibrate automatically and start the calibration procedure. And as you can see the star is drifting a bit westward now. and just in a moment it will reverse direction and go back to its original position and now we're just doing a one axis uh, calibration we can do two axis calibration as well so calibration is done and now we can use the auto guiding feature so let's go ahead and start the auto guiding and it's as simple as just clicking start uh, we can here see the drift graphics which tells us how much the star deviates from its uh, locked position or the tracking position we want it to be let's go now to the telescope simulator and uh, try to introduce some errors the one that you might see uh, in your mount due to tracking errors or pre periodic error in the mount so let's go and introduce some error, for example, uh, in the west direction. And let's see here. So we see here that it moved a bit west. And you can see here a spike in the drift graphics. And now KSTARS is bringing it back to its original position. Now let's go ahead and, for example, try another deviation in the... Let's go south, for example. So now we're going south, and there we go. It's went up the image, and again, KSTARS is bringing it back to its locked position. So this feature is very important for CCD imaging, especially long exposure CCD imaging. And I that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick demo of KSTARS auto guiding feature.